Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Soling the Ark. I'm Flinger Fu, and today, well, today we're going to be hatching a rock drake, or at least that's the plan. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out, but we're definitely going to try. Now, uh, one of the things we need to, uh, now there's a couple of dead ravagers in the water. I'm not sure how that happened. I think they just jumped on my base and smacked me around a little bit, and then I ended up having to shotgun them where in the water. I think that's what happened. Actually, that is exactly what happened, but still. All right, so uh, today, um, we ended up in the last episode getting this 185 Rock Drake, and it is, I mean, it's 185. So I'm just gonna say it right now, it's amazing, it's awesome. All right, so I uh, mean, he has potential to suck, but we're gonna go with the not suckage part. Isn't that right, Bert? Yep. All right, so we're gonna go with the not suckage part and see if uh, we can go get this guy tamed. Now, um, we need to uh, craft a whole bunch of air conditioners for this because it takes a lot. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, craft, uh, what, wrong one. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see, we need 15 crystal, 15 electronics, 80 metal, and five polymer. We've got tons of polymer. We've got polymer in droves. Um, we don't have a lot of um, electronics. So, which means we're gonna have to go back out on a journey to go see if we can go get a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of electronics. Also, some silica pearls, stuff like that, which means we're going on on the Ravager pack to begin with. Now, um, granted, I could just go grab a whole bunch of, uh, um, Dimorphodon, or Dimetrodons in the water that are down here, but that would take me a lot of narcotics and stuff. Um, now there are some in here. Where's my spy club? There we go. Go. All right, let's see if we can take a look down here. Hmm. I know this water down here has a whole bunch of uh, Dimetrodons. So, I mean, we could probably take one down or take down a couple. Now, how much narcotics do I have? I'm not sure because they take a ton of narcotics. No, we got some. Need to make some more trank darts. But let's do that really quick. And then I know I made up some extra bullet. There we go. Hey, nailed it. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's take that. And I should probably just turn off this generator. I'm not even using it right now, except for to run this. Let's turn that on. What? Why did I put him in there? <sighs> all right, well, I'm just gonna let you run out. All right, let's see. Um, back in here, nailed it. Uh, do we have enough metal in there? We have some. Okay, we've got enough metal in there. Let's see. Weapon, ammo. Thank you. Ten. That's it. Out. Thank you. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll get that going, and then we'll uh, go out. And we'll see if we can tame some uh, Demet. Um, Demetrodons, but, uh, yeah, I think our best bet is just craft air conditioners. Now, when I built this spot over here, I built it to where, uh, we can just stack a few of them. I mean, we've got some right here, we could also stack some on the outside, and then maybe go up a little bit higher, and then just have just a big, huge area right here. Ah, you, these guys, you two right here, Claire and May, you two are the noisiest. Oh my gosh, I might just have to move you guys. All right, but yeah, so that's the plan today. I'm going to see where we're at and see what we can do, and I will bring you guys back in a bit. All right, while I'm out here, I need to make sure I get a ton of green gems so where we can take them and turn them into gasoline. Because you can take these 20 uh, green gems and then also uh, 20 uh, of the gas balls and then turn them into uh, one gas or a uh, few gasoline. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's the plan. That is until we actually get the rock drake. And then we'll no longer need to do that because we can just, w with a rock drake, you can just go farm uh, oil. So it makes it so much easier. But until then, this is what we need. And I'm still looking for our first. Still looking for our first uh, tech creature, but does it ever concern anybody when you see just a lone Obus out there in the middle of the open? 
It's got to be some sort of a trap. I mean, you go out there, you gank the Ovis. It, I bet you there's like 15 raptors up there in those hills ready to pounce on us the moment we touch that Ovis. I just bet there is. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get moving on. Yay, Tech Perry! All right, I will gather your electronics later. Also, there's otters in here, too. I eventually want to uh, tame a few otters. Because, I mean, that that's what Perry really needs down below. That he, Perry, Our Perry down below, he doesn't have otters. Now, when I built a base um, last season in this area, um, Perry would always sound off. And I put um, a Perry there just to tell me if raptors and stuff was coming there. Another Ovis. I swear it's a trap. And... And the Perry would always sound off, and I'd be wondering, what's going on? You know, why is Perry always telling me there's an enemy nearby? And it was because of the otters. And so, yeah. <laughs> oh, memories. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, I'm still looking for stuff. Also, I'm going to go over see if we can go get a bunch of, uh, silica pearls up here as well. Keep my eye out for raptors, because I know there's a ton of them. There they are. I see them. There's the first Ravager pack of up here. All right. What they don't know is... I've got a pack of Ravagers with me. <laughs> Suck it, stupid raptor. All right. And it's even better when they have tech flavor. Yeah! Tech flavor raptor. Give me electronics. Thank you. Also, this is a really good source of oil as well. Not bad. That. All right, so far we're up to 159. Now it takes 15, I believe, for each. Okay, so we're moving up in the world, so we've got enough for 10 so far. We're going to need a few more than that, I think. All right, so now we're back. Let's see how well these guys fared. And apparently a uh, a crab decided it wanted to aggro down here, which gave us some more organic polymer, which I'm fine with. So, yeah, if uh, organic polymer wants to deliver itself, I'm fine with that. Uh, let's see. Get these guys healed up. I'm just gonna leave the meat in there for now. And we should be good. Uh, they also have some metal in them, which is fine. Alright, we're still gonna need some nameless venom, but we're not ready for nameless venom yet. We have to get everything else situated. What are you? What are you down there, huh? You're a Ravager! Oh! It's not hitting that, is it? No, it's making the noise because I'm on it. Alright. Ravager! Gone. Alright. Thank you very much, Smeghead! Let's see. No, oh, I'm in cover. Alright, let's, uh, over here. That's... Seriously, dude? All right. That's in there. We need to run the oil over there so we can get that. You know, maybe I'll just make a... Uh, make a refining forge for over here. So where I don't have to keep running back and forth just to make oil. All right, let's grab one of these. Bam. Going on. 14. All right, how many are you going to make? Five. Okay, that's fine with me. All right, so we've got that. Uh, you know, I'm just going to throw this oil in here for now. Throw this over in here. Oh, well, I'm going to need another. Thank you. I'm gonna need to go get some, some metal here really quick. Because we're gonna need a lot more than that. 
All right, so hey, I'm gonna go do that, and I will bring you guys back here in just a bit. All right, let's see uh, what all kind of damage we can do here. Electric. Or that's it. All right, what am I missing? Oh, probably metal. Okay, all right, let's see. Um, I got more rock here. There. That's one. Oh. Because we're full up on... <laughs> okay. That makes a lot more sense. All right. Uh, let's see. There. And... Here. I'm going to have to make another metal run here. Structures, electric, three. All right, I'm going to see just how many of these I can get done, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so now I'm just setting them down like this. The um, kind of laying them over each other. And if you stand on top of them, you can kind of do this. Right, there we go. And then it is working, because here, let me show you. Uh, right now we're at 1246 hypothermal insulation. Pop that one down, let it... Yeah, 1340. So now we've got the... That's 10 here. We're going to need a few more. That's 11. 1461. I think the number we're supposed to be going towards is 23 to 2600, something like that. All right. So, metal run. All right, we got it. It's incubating. All right, now, uh, this right here, it was, see, not 23, it's right here, it's actually a little bit higher, it was, I, I, the most I got it was right there where the egg was, was 2471, so, let's see, can I actually stand in the egg, no, 2416, okay, so, standing in the egg, we have 2416, oh, it's 2407, let's see, where are we going, all right, so, one thing I learned, um, don't put the air conditioners too far away. <laughs> I think these two over here are just not, yeah. No. All right. So while that's incubating, I'm going to let it incubate down a little bit, and then I'm going to uh, pick it up and then go get some nameless venom. So yeah, all right. Things are happening. All right. So we've got eight minutes. And to, uh, to be able to get Nameless Venom. Now, the easiest way to get Nameless Venom... Here, let me show you. Come on, guys. We're going this way. Let's go find a nice clearing. Sure, this will work. Up. Oh. There we go. Aimless. Not gonna come out. All right, fine. Heard one. There's one. Thank you. Yeah, just run around out here without a light on, and you'll get nameless to spawn. Hello. I don't think so. <whistles> Tons of Arthur out here, though. Oh, and a Megalosaur. What level are you, buddy? Seriously? Alright, get him! Even a level 5 Megalosaur has a lot of hit points. Alright. There's some Nameless. I see you! And there's more. And there's more! Hey! Welcome to the party, pals! Check them, see if we got any nameless venom. 
You seriously jump off the cliff? I think he jumped off the cliff. Where'd Curly go? Huh. Alright, well, let's check. None on you. Hey, we got three. Let's go see if we can find Curly. Alright, and... I forgot. Well, I almost forgot. Because for the Rock Drake Saddle, what we need, we're gonna need 85 red gems, which means we've gotta go. <laughs> we've gotta go farm uh, roll rats again. Because I didn't grab any when I was down below. I probably should have done that, but I didn't do that. So, yeah, we're gonna need 85 red gems. All right, let's see what we got. Come on. And. Everybody's on passive, right? Oh, look at you, buddy! Um, I don't know what we're gonna name you. You look wicked cool in this light. 4, 4712 health. Not bad. 282 melee. Stamina's good. Melee's low. Well, melee's alright, especially after imprint. Health is pretty low. But other than that, I mean, this will be a great first rock drake. So, yeah, and we'll use this Rock Drake to get other Rock Drakes. So, yeah, the low health on this guy really doesn't concern me all that much. So, yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, behavior. they wandering. And get your butt out here. Come on, buddy. Uh, you know what? Actually, that's... Uh, behavior. Lowest. Come on, bud. Get you through the door? Yeah, there we go. Put you right here. I'm gonna pull around. Mr. Bob. Have you following, Mr. Bob? Alright. Oh. Okay, you too, Claire. I changed. Nope, nope, you're fine. You're just freaking out. Alright, cool. Alright, so now I have to go... I have to go get some red gems. Come on, Smeghead. Got 15 minutes for the imprint. All right. Now we wait. All right, and uh, I've already done this on another video, but uh, this right here, this is uh, just a regular taming pit. And uh, you just trap a, uh, a roll rat inside here. Wait for him to come up. He'll jump up some gems. We didn't do any that time. Better I didn't see him. Um, actually, I think there might be green over here. And then you just kind of keep him in, um, contained in there. Now, whenever uh, he drops up, he picks up some uh, red gems on his way back up to the surface, you grab him, and then he'll aggro on you. You run out of render range, you reset his aggro, and then, yeah, you just rinse and repeat. All right, first imprint. And a cuddle. There we go. All right. Okay, so one thing that rock drakes will do on these things, they'll fall through the platform when they grow. <laughs> I ended up having to just back him up and just be like, oh, hey, yeah, uh, let's hopefully he's not stuck in there. Oh, oh all right. Uh, because he was right here on the edge, and then when he grew, he uh, decided he wanted to go down below the ceiling. So keep an eye on that if you're raising them on ceilings. All right, and also this guy is getting kind of... His food isn't raising... Well, it, it normally won't race. It'll slowly go down while he's doing this. Now, um, 
if his food gets down to a low um to a low level where you're kind of worried about it giving him a nameless venom and just putting it in his inventory and then feeding it to him that will actually give him 400 food so it'll get him kind of caught up here right now uh let's see oh hey just another cuddle All right cool and since you're low right now and i've got you know only one more imprint there we go yep see 400 food cool all right, last imprint, and let's take a look at his stats. And of course, it's a cuddle. They always just want a cuddle. That's all you ever want is a cuddle. I've never had, well, yeah. I know, I remember there was a bug with them um, when they first came out that they would uh, do indefinite walks. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look. Uh, 5,800 health, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, it could be better, could be worse. Uh, Thirty-four, uh, 344.6 melee. That is good. Holy crap. All right, so hey, I'm gonna start, uh, I've been in the meantime, I've just been making up a uh, um, cooking pot over there. I'm gonna go get some berries because now he's just gotta grow. That's it. Just gotta grow. That too full. It's gonna be a while. All right, see you guys in a bit. Okay, I just came back and there is a wild rock drake inside of the base. Apparently he's aggroed on my rock drake that rose up while I was gone. Hey, dude! All right. That was. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Oh, but I miss you growing up, man. Oh, I was so looking forward to doing that. You have got like it's kind of weird grayscale on you. But hey, I made up a saddle for you. Let's see how it looks. Ooh. Oh yeah, you're looking good. Oh, look at you. Oh dang, you look pretty. All right now, it's been a minute since I've been since I've ridden on a rock drake. Yeah, I love this. Rock drake's got to be one of my favorite mounts. All right, that's wicked cool. All right, let's see. Hey, suck it! Oh, you hit for two sixty-eight right out of the. That's pretty good. All right. Okay, let's uh, go over a few things, a few uh, YouTubery things where we discuss what these guys do. Let's see. Uh, so left click attack, which is left click. Right click attack enables this up at here. Hold on. Wrong button. Up in the very top right hand corner, you see where it has that little white uh, rock drake claw. That right there means that you are climbing. Your um, rock drake will tilt their head up. And then you can always know, even if you don't see it up there, that it's uh, they're climbing is because they will tilt their head. And that means that they're going to be uh, latching onto walls like a uh, like a Thyla. Actually, a little bit better than a Thyla. Actually, a lot better than a Thyla. Because they can change directions and do all sorts of cool stuff up there. Just run around. And uh, yeah, here, I will showcase that, showcase that here in just a sec. Let's, see, let's get up on top of right here. There we go. All right, and then also, when you're up like this, you'll notice that there's the crosshairs. Hold on, wrong button. All right, if you jump, and then you see the crosshairs, if you right click, you'll ch uh, charge towards the wall and latch on. Now, if you're like this, and you left click, it'll come down and it'll pounce on whatever you're targeting, and it'll actually do some damage. It's pretty cool. All right, and then let's see. And then how they uh, fly, they don't really fly. They more glide than anything. They, uh, you have to have some sort of downward force propelling them forward. Now there's ways of getting some momentum where you can kind of go down and then back up a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Let's see if we can get up a little bit higher. All right, it's where we can actually get some speed going. All right, here we go. All right, so now if you glide down, you can go back up, and you can 
charge towards that and then you can actually if once you figure these things out you can get all over the map quite effectively it is really really cool i love these dudes i love these dudes a lot all right so what are we gonna name it well i want to get it out into the sunlight that's where we can figure out what all we're gonna name it. all right let's go i know there's a perfect spot on here where the lighting is just perfect actually here's a good spot but I know a better spot. And besides, we're going to go level this uh, girl up. And this is a girl. I know I've been calling it a dude and a guy for a while. Um, but yeah, this is this is totally a girl. So let's go. Uh... See if we can uh, get just into the perfect level of light. Because I know there's, there's a spot here where you, it's really, really soft um, looking light. It's pretty cool. All right, and this spot right here, I just love going down this spot. Uh, I love gliding on these dudes. It's so much fun. Alright. But yeah, this spot right here has got some of the best lighting. I'm taking so many thumbnails right here. It's because I love this light. All right, let's see. Okay, so it's like just like gray with like these red and per red um, feathers with purple tips. Oh, uh, such a pretty rock drake though. Ah, uh, I love the contrast between the very vibrant feathers and just the straight gray body, and then the underbelly right there. That's like a light gray. Really cool looking. Huh. All right. I think I found the name I'm going to give her because she's gray primarily and she's got this really awesome hues to go through her. And I've seen some really nice uh, versions of granite that just look absolutely great and I, I i really like that name on you that's really gonna rock all right so hey anyway whoo all right so we got granite we uh got our rock drake raised up everything got a saddle pull on her went out i uh, <laughs> i'm i've really gotta level this girl up but yeah anyway she's gonna help us get more rock drakes gonna help us uh probably fight rockwell as well and do all sorts of wicked cool stuff. All right, so hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody. All right, Granite, come on. Let's go, uh, let's, let's go adventure. All of Aberrations are oyster now. Yeah. All right. <laughs>